very early this morning. Well, not super. It's 7.50 this morning, but I've been up since 6. Got ready, showered, um, and then had to go get some lab work done um, just because it's been a really long time since I've done that. Anyways, forgot what I was saying because a car pulled up literally right next to me. Um, but I'm getting gas now. Oh yeah, gonna get a physical done soon just to check up because it's been a while other than like all the little checkups I had while pregnant with Lucas. I also got myself a latte and I definitely have that like guilt feeling, that like buyer's remorse feeling for a latte because I could have just made this at home but I guess I just wanted to enjoy a coffee this morning without my toddler pulling me in every direction but I now I feel bad for buying a almost seven dollar latte so yeah definitely gonna be making coffee from home I have been actually making coffee from home now but I just can't justify it throughout the week anymore um, unless I'm like socializing or like with Steven or it's just really hard now because the lattes are so expensive and I literally have an espresso machine at home. Anyways, just pumping gas. It's almost done and then I'm gonna head back home. bandage off oh sorry I am just basically trying to do all the things to make sure that I'm healthy and like fully prepared for this next baby for whenever I get impregnated <laughs> so um, that's why I'm doing those labs and I'm getting a physical done the last physical that I got was in 2018 so and I'm also a a year late for my pap. I'm so, I was supposed to get that last year, so I have to do that as well. I've also been really bad about taking my vitamins, so I gotta get on like that type of routine. And wow, I sound really unhealthy right now, but I, like I swear, sometimes like your health, it's not just about what you eat, it's like all the other things, and that stuff just like slips through your fingers sometimes. And I really need to get better at that because I need to take care of myself for my babies. So, yeah, Steven was actually the one to, like, really push me to get my physical done. He's like, yeah, like, you need to make sure that you're okay and that you're not dealing with anything that you don't know of. So, yeah, I'm pretty confident that I'm okay. Um, it's just, like, that peace of mind knowing, like, for sure. So, yeah, Lucas is still sleeping, which is actually very surprising. So, I'm just gonna plan out my day and, um... He actually has his two-year checkup today too and it's kind of like during nap hour so we'll see how that goes. I made some scrambled eggs with some leftover mushrooms and cauliflower. <laughs> you ready to have some breakfast? No. no. That's just your favorite word lately. Of course you go straight for the bread. Just sit on it, sit on it. Milo. Thank you, baby. For Lucas's birthday, we got this really cool, like, chalkboard. So chalk on the other side slash like whiteboard and then there's paper there's like a paper roll right here so you can draw um for his birthday and i thought this was really cool i'm pretty sure this is from target steven's mom bought it for him but i thought it was really cool because eventually <laughs> right now he just likes to scribble on it but um i can start draw i can start drawing numbers and letters and it's just like a really fun hands-on way of learning since he's still pretty small, this is this is how we're using it. <laughs> but he really loves to erase everything. Lucas, can you help clean it? Help clean it? Yes. Can you help yes. clean it? Yes. He loves he loves erasing. 
and then I put this quilt down because I didn't want him to accidentally draw on our really nice rug. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Boy, has today been a day. I just laid Lucas down for a nap kind of late. It's like 3, almost 3.30. Um, we came back from his two-year checkup, and Lucas hates, he hates going to the doctor. But what I discovered while we were there is that he's actually teething. I completely forgot about his molars because he has all of his like front teeth and basically all of his teeth aside from his molars and I everything clicked I'm like he's been drooling he's been super fussy today um, his temperature was like at a hundred which they said was normal they're like maybe it's a teething fever and I just pieced it all together I'm like yeah he's probably teething and then his hands were in his mouth the entire ride home so I gave him some Tylenol and I'm just like really stressed because today has been a lot it's been a lot a little bit of self-care I'm going to work out I'm gonna do one of my bar workouts and like just I need that sweat session like really bad so I'm gonna do that now while I have the time the next day and we're back in the car Lucas is playing with his little bumpy dinosaur I don't know if like you guys have ever heard of Camp Cretaceous he's like obsessed with Bumpy, although I used to let him watch that show. I know totally not like rated for his age, but he hasn't watched it in like the last couple of, well, maybe like two months because it was a, it was just too stimulating, overstimulating of a show and it was for big kids. But all to say, in case you guys don't know who Bumpy is, it's, he's like a, a dinosaur on Camp Cretaceous. Um, dinosaurs. So this morning, decided we'd go to the park and after the park, do um, just a little bit of a grocery run at Trader Joe's since we'll be out that way anyways. And yeah, that's pretty much our morning. I just need to grab a couple things, not a full run. And then uh, maybe even give you guys a little haul. But oh, other thing, I got my test results back this morning and everything seemed okay. Um, the only thing that I was concerned about was my cholesterol levels. I guess they were just like the smallest amount above average. So I sent a message to my doctor just asking her about it. And when I say just a little bit above, it was like by like a point or percentage or whatever. Did you just throw Bumpy? So yeah, I shot her a message to see what she says. Um, and I was actually really surprised by it because I eat pretty healthy. I don't eat a lot of red meat or hardly ever. Um, I eat mostly like chicken and ground turkey. Um, I don't drink alcohol unless it's like a special occasion. Like I just, I don't even sip on wine like throughout the week, like at night and stuff just because it just doesn't make me feel good afterwards. Um, and I, I exercise pretty regularly, so to find that out was pretty shocking. Um, I looked it up and it does say that you can get it from your family members, and I think my grandma has high cholesterol. Just wanted to give you guys an update on that. Still no update on when we're bringing home Penelope, um, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this weekend. I originally told you guys like Thursday, Friday, today's Friday. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like either Saturday or Sunday. Hi geese, don't worry, we won't hurt you. No. Don't hurt you. Yeah, we won't hurt you. Lucas found a way to play in the mud. <laughs> this little mud patch right here. And I'm just gonna let him be. We have wipes in the car. Um, Cause he's having fun. And we're just hanging out. We're just, we're just chillaxing. Oh. You see the water? What's inside? Fish? Fish. There's fish inside the water. We are at Farmer's Daughter's farm stand right now. And I remember coming here last summer with Lucas and just completely falling in love with California all over again because you can see the gorgeous view of Mount Diablo and it's just so like 
it's just so beautiful over here. We're gonna pick up some watermelon if they have it, maybe some strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, all the berries, we'll see what they have. Peach. So apparently this little farm stand that we're at, they made this like little play structure that's brand new. This little park swing um, or porch swing is new. These little picnic tables are all new. This whole side of the farm stand is new. And I didn't know that until um, one of the girls that works here told us about it. And I was like, how cool, how cool. that's good right here um it's a while later now i have edited the vlog up until this point lucas is sleeping boy was he a trooper today you guys we had a great day we had a fantastic morning i have been needing a morning like today for a while now um what's funny is originally everything that we did today like that wasn't even the plan at all. I had planned on going to a park that we'd normally go to. And as I was on the freeway about to exit, I thought to myself, we go to this park all the time. Honestly, I get kind of bored being there. And I feel like Lucas, like he doesn't really venture out into the play structure very much um, because he's still kind of little in the play structure at the park we were originally gonna go to is just like really big. It's like three stories high. Um, so we get kind of just bored and yeah, I was like, I just wanna do something new today. So where we were by the water, if you guys remember, that's actually where we lived for like nine days. <laughs> um, when we had that condo by the water and that whole mess occurred that's where we were living um, and it's a really really nice area and I hadn't taken Lucas back there since like he was one like right when he turned one like almost exactly a year ago and I'm like he's bigger now we're by the water he loves being by the water so I decided to go there and take him there and oh my gosh you guys he had so much fun one of the nicest things about children is that like they really keep you present and in the moment and not trying to rush um i remember we were sitting there we would stop every so often as we were walking we walked a lot and we would talk about the fish we would talk about the keys he'd play in the dirt and like we just pay attention to all these little details and you know really just slowed the pace down for us i'll be honest too i guess we can have a little heart to heart chat um, you know, after my, my grandpa passed away, I was really struggling with my faith. I was pretty angry and, you know, grieving the grieving process. Um, and I kind of just like put God on the back burner and basically ignored him for a little over a month. I didn't hardly pray. Um, barely touched my Bible, if that, um, and just really struggling. Um, and then with this whole like Penelope situation, I was, bef even before that happened, I was just finally starting to try to get back into the flow and um, especially when the situation with Penelope happened, I was like, I'm not going to let this be another thing that that keeps me from bettering my relationship with God. I've been feeling guilty for not, you know, sharing my faith journey because that's what we're called to do. 
and I think because I was struggling with it so much it just didn't feel authentic to talk about it and this morning I got up really early this morning because while Lucas naps or even before he wakes up those were like my only quiet times and I just prayed I just I just sat there and I prayed and I had a good crying session and just all the things I need like I just needed to feel um, instead of trying to like shy away my feelings so I just wanted to share that with you guys um, I know I haven't been uploading very often and for those of you who continue to watch my videos like I just want to say thank you still I feel like I have so much on my mind that I want to share with you guys but I'm drawing a complete blank <laughs> so I'm just gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed it today was so much fun um, and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and I will see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>